Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I am going to be attempting to repair this Z170 Pro Gaming motherboard. So the story behind this, if you haven't seen my Surplus Store August 2018 video, is I was at the Surplus Store and I saw this board for $45. It was a 25% off that day. So I paid $33.50, I think, for it. And after opening the box, I realized the board had Ben's pins. And that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be repairing the socket on this board. Also, my friend said I could borrow his 6600K and some DDR4 so I can test it, and hopefully flash the BIOS so it supports KB Lake processors. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box here. So you can see the board did indeed come with the IO shield, and I talked about this in the Surplus Star video, how I always get them with IO shields, and that's kind of just my luck, so I'm happy with that. I don't feel the build is complete, and it kind of drives my OCD crazy when I don't have one of these. So I also removed the anti-static bag from the board. That was off camera because it's really loud and annoying. So let's take a look at the socket up close. So there is our socket 1151 socket. So you can see we have bent pins there, there is one, and there's also one right there. I believe there's a few more, but I'll look off camera and see if I can find those because I can't see them right now. So I just flipped the board around so I could get a better look at it. There is another one sticking out there. You can actually see that one pretty clearly on camera. So I'm going to just start with that one. I'm just going to kind of take my flat tip screwdriver. You're all probably cringing at this. And I'm going to bend that just kind of back into shape. And that actually is working pretty well, I'd say. So that was a pretty easy fix. That pin was just slightly bent out of position. Nothing like this one, and this one is actually like completely folded over the wrong way. So I'm just kind of bending that over a bit, get it centered and aligned. I'll do the same with this one. There we go. That's good. So I'd say the most damaged area of the socket is right here. We have a couple pins that are completely folded over, one up here and then one down there. So it looks like these two pins are actually kind of tangled together. This one is just bent over. So I managed to fix that one pretty easily. You can kind of still see it just sticking out a little bit. And sorry for the background noise, someone is mowing our lawn right now, so that's great. So that pin took me about 25 minutes. I ended up stopping the video about a quarter way through, and I've just been working on it a little bit. And I think I pretty much have it. You can still see damage, but the tip of the pin is in the right place, and it's at the right level. It's just the pin is a little bit bent, and I believe that's what you're seeing there. So there's also that kind of pin there. It looks kind of like standing out, so I'm going to work on that. But I think I have the socket pretty much repaired. So I went ahead and threw the board in one of the rack cases I got from the surplus store. So I have it hooked up to a power supply and it's ready to drop a CPU and RAM in. But I actually turned on the power supply and it does something pretty cool here. So you can see the board lights up. Good sign. Got a standby power LED and that stuff down there. Also the breathing effects. Pretty cool. I'm happy. I'm not going to turn it on because there's no processor or anything in here. So yeah. So you can see the system turns on, there's also a blue light from my MacBook Air SSD adapter. And I didn't film the audio because this was at a party, whatever, but you can see the system does post and I did get into the BIOS as well. Anyway, this video was quite a bit shorter than I thought it would be. So with that said, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.